Hello, I'm Skid from Widescreen Game Inform, and today I'm going to be giving you a look at MechWarriors Online. Now first off, yes that is my desktop in the background, don't panic. This is just the launcher of the game, it just happens that the launcher doubles up as the effectively the main menu and the settings. Now I don't know whether or not it should run full screen or not. Um, it's probable that it's just detecting that it's an odd resolution, it doesn't think it can display correctly, so it's sizing it down but it's still fully functional and as I said this is basically just an interface so it's not too much of an issue. We'll have a quick look around the options first. As you can see here that's my resolution I didn't need to do anything special to get that in there it's read straight from the system so it's got all of my system resolutions in there which is good. Uh, full screen windows mode as usual V-Sync, motion blur which I have off uh, DirectX version there's only one option here at the minute but I think they're working on a DirectX 11 version but it's possible that it's just not stable, it's not working yet, so they've not enabled it. And then system specifications, basically your graphics options, uh, advanced options are here. I have it on medium because um, NVIDIA doesn't have an SLI profile for this. And the way I have my graphics card set up, I have to run in SLI, so I don't get great performance. But things like SLI and um, performance are things they work on constantly. This game is in a relatively early stage of the beta so do bear that in mind. And then over here on the left hand side you've got all the key mappings. Uh, there is joystick support. I do have a joystick but I've not actually tried it yet so I've been using the keyboard and mouse. Uh, the two videos that you'll see later which I've actually already recorded they were with the keyboard and mouse symbol as well. Okay now the mech lab is effectively where you buy, build and uh, configure your mechs. Um, you do get four trial mechs to start off with, you don't get any of your own mechs but you get these trial mechs. Um, they're, uh, they're alright mechs, they're basically just standard forms of mechs that you can purchase. Um, but if you're using trial mechs you'll earn slightly less money which is this here and um, you won't earn any experience at all. So it's worth bearing that in mind, but once you've got your own mech you'll, you'll get a boost to your money which is useful because after a battle you have to repair and rearm your mech which comes out of your funds. Now mechs themselves, there are four different classes, light, medium, heavy and assault. There's three lights, there are the commando, the jenna, the raven, uh, the centurion, the hunchback are medium mechs, the dragon and the catapult are heavy mechs and the awesome and the atlas are assault mechs. Now you can purchase these mechs, any of these mechs, with either in-game cash, which you get from um, just participating in battles, you'll get um, expert, or you'll get money for winning or losing, and um, kills, assists, destroying components, captures, that sort of thing. Or you can buy it with um, MC, which I'm not sure what it stands for, but basically uh, this is going to be a free-to-play game, so MC is the um, currency that you'll buy any weapons or upgrades with if you want to do that. You can also, once you've got your own mech, configure it by pretty much ripping out the weapons that are on it and putting new ones on, for example this gauze rifle here. I've re-equipped this mech to have a pair of gauze rifles on either side, it's the only thing it's armed with. And then I've got um, three sets of ammo for it and the rest of um, the stuff on it are all pre-required stuff that you can't remove, with the exception of the engine which if I'm going to stick with this I'm going to drop the engine size down just so I can add some more armor back onto this thing. But this mech isn't particularly well designed. I wanted to see if I could get two Gauss rifles on it. As I said I've got a couple of videos later they're both using this mech um, but it's suboptimal because I've had to rip a huge amount of armor off of this thing to be able to fit both of these on so I think stripping the engine out would be a good idea for me to be able to put a couple of weapons back or put some more ammo into it, a couple of light weapons and put some armor back onto this thing. But that's basically the interface. Um, I'm going to cut the video here as I said, uh, you know, I've said it three times now. Um, I pre-recorded the videos that you're going to see after this, they're basically two separate matches. One of them I didn't particularly do very well in and the other one I helped out a bit in but um, hopefully it'll give you an idea of the game. So I'll leave it at that um, because I forgot to say it in the other videos. Please subscribe or like or dislike the videos and leave comments as to why. I appreciate all of them and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Okay my mech's all set up and I had to sacrifice way too much armour 
I don't think this is going to work particularly well. And I've only got 30 bullets. So we'll see how long this thing lasts. But anyway, as you can probably see, the game is vertical or horizontal plus, I should say. So all is well in that regard. Um, just look around the cockpit. Um, there's no res or no option to change the field of viewing game, but there is a setting available in one of the configuration files that you can do if you really want to. But given the fact that you, or effectively you're in a cockpit, all you're going to see is more cockpit. So <laughs> there's not really much of a benefit for it. But I don't think the field of view is bad or wrong. I mean, it's perfect. I'm perfectly okay with it, but then I don't have an issue with field of view in any game, so... It's going to be a matter of personal preference. If you don't particularly like it, then yeah, the, the setting is there, but you have to go through a configuration file to change it. As for the game itself, it's a mech warrior game. There's not a whole lot to say about it. You're in a great big lumbering mech with a bunch of other people. This is an assault mode. Basically, there's two bases, and I do not want to be following them. I want to be somewhere where I can get a decent long range shot, like over there. Um, yeah, this is assault mode, so there's effectively two bases. Ours is that blue square over there, if you can see it on the minimap. And theirs is a red one. You win by either annihilating the other team or by standing on their control point until you capture it, in which case you then win. So, here is a reasonable place. Very reasonable place, I've got a good, ra good range. I'm going to be a bit screwed if a light mech finds its way around. No one's presenting any targets. As I said, I'm running this game on medium, but you can see it looks pretty decent despite that fact. better move forward. Although this game does actually have a um, I forgot what I was saying, I've lost my train of thought. Don't waste my ammo on it. I don't think that build's particularly good. I don't remember Gorse Cannons being that heavy before in all the older mech games. I'm fairly sure I had... It was a cat with a pair of Gorse Cannons and then a couple of lasers. And I still had a reasonable amount of armour. I don't know. They must have changed the balancing. Yeah, we've lost this. Even if they make it to the base in time, the others are right next to it. I don't know, we might just win this. 
If they don't get to our base quickly, we've got it. We're going to win by capturing. That should not have happened. They were all behind us. They should have beaten us. Right, I think I'm probably going to have to stitch a few um, matches together in order to show off or well, to show off the game and just to prolong the video. So I'll record a couple of two, a couple more matches. I've actually already got one in a light mix mech, so I'll do another one in this mech and we'll see how that goes. I'll try and see if I can make my mech work. If not, I'm going to have to redesign it, but never mind. Okay, I'll be right back. And I'm back. I'm in the same mech, so again, I'll see if I can get this mech to work, but I don't think it's going to. I think I need to redesign it. But I remembered what I was going to say before I got distracted. This game does have a um, film grain effect on it, which you probably would you may have seen it more on the last level, but I really don't like it. Um, generally speaking, I can normally see. I mean, I can see the fuzziness on my screen, and it just doesn't work on a PC as far as I'm concerned. It just makes the game look worse because if you can see the fuzziness then it's not doing its job because it's supposed to make things look a bit more gritty, a bit more realistic but if effectively all you see is the fuzziness of a the screen then yeah something's not right. Let's have a look at the map, where am I? I'm not sure where I am, I can't see it. I'm there, so I'm looking entirely the wrong direction. I would be better off there. Ouch! Two can play at that game, son. This is heat vision mode, which is very, very useful for spotting things at great range. I'm not hitting him. No, I am hitting him. LRM's coming my way. This team doesn't appear to be very organised. That's one thing I've encountered a lot. Um, not necessarily the disorganisation of teams, but the game has a really, really bad habit of... Effectively, some people are fixed teams, they're effectively clans, and they'll all work together, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But... You can get to the point, and it happens a fair amount, that you will get put in with a fixed team and you're just a group of randoms. And they, they'll just walk all over you. And I've had that happen a number of times and they've just wiped us out, eight to nothing. Which doesn't, well, it doesn't feel fair if you're playing the game. I think this mech does work so long as I play it right. Although I am almost out of ammo, I've got two shots left. Yeah, so... It definitely needs work. I mean, I've taken a fair amount of damage. need to start making my way towards their base, otherwise it's not going to be any of use. Yeah, I 
think these gauze rifles are probably a bit too heavy, or maybe it's just that you don't get enough ammunition for them. But yeah, you can't equip a pair of them. Certainly not on this and be able to be relatively balanced. I am way out in the open here. They just need to look to their left and if they see me then I'm screwed. Apologise if the video becomes a little choppy. This is now running at 25 frames per second rather than 30, which is less than ideal, but it can't be helped. In fact, it's not using the full CPU. Am I running out of? I think I might have DX Tory set up wrong. This appears to be using the CPU to encode, and it shouldn't be. One good shot on him. Where's going to be the best place to do the most damage? Head on, I think. Has he seen me? Come on, turn around. You're standing right next to the base. There you go. Damn it, I hit his head! That was a mighty good shot. I need to hide behind this wall. Because I now have no ammunition left. That's right, turn around. I'm standing right here. How can you not see me? Two easy kills here, mate. You should shoot the guy with the weapons, not me.
that cat's equipped with gauze guns as well. Hey, victory. Awesome. Right. As I said, I've got one more video. If I've got enough time for this one, I'll add it onto the end, and that's just a light mech, but I recorded that earlier. But that's pretty much Mech Warriors. It appears to be pretty, pretty much fine in terms of multi-monitor support. And as I said, it's fairly early beta. There's not m a massive amount in it in a minute. There's four modes that, or four maps rather, that they're cycling through. 